Lots of traction, guys. Whoa! That was high! Hey RC fans, I'm Eric with the Eric RC channel. If you remember my last video of the Traxxas Max, my son and I took it to our local skate park, and just as we were about to leave, we did one last jump out of the bowl, wasn't able to correct the flip, and I nosedived down into the grass and broke the right front C-hub. Pretty easy repair, and that is what we are going to work on today. Please, if you can, give me a thumbs up and smash that like button. So, what you're going to need is the Traxxas 8932 C-Hub set. They're only $6, and the reason I'm using the OEM as opposed to upgrading to the aluminum, because it's a really good breaking point that's easy and cheap to fix. Way more simpler than snapping one of your control arms on the Wide Max kit or something else. So that's why I'm choosing to stick with OEM. Um, this is the version 1 Max, has, again, like I said, the Wide Max kit, has the metal dog bone drive shafts, the adjustable steering links, and the 17 millimeter hub conversion. So to start with, you're going to need just a couple tools, very simple. You will need the 2.5 millimeter hex. I'm using a little skill pink driver. They're super low speed and torque. So you don't have to worry about rounding out any bolts. You could always use a manual set. I always keep this on hand, even when I'm out running, along with some spare parts, screws, whatnot. That way the fun never ends. I just did not happen to have an extra C-Hub the day that we are out at the skate park. So to start with, you just want to take your tire off. You could probably do this with it mounted but it is a lot easier to do with it off and you'll be able to see everything a little better in the video so you only have four screws one holding the top of the caster block to your top control arm and then one holding the bottom of your caster bar block to the lower control arm and then there is a pin top and bottom of the caster block that holds the hub assembly. Now these style pins, I'll pull one out and show you, they're only threaded at the head, otherwise it's just a pin. So that's the top one. Coming out in two pieces, should only be one, obviously. Then this set is two pieces. It comes with both the left and the right caster blocks or C hubs, and they are labeled. There is an L right there for left, which we are not using today. We'll save that for the future. So I'm sure it'll happen again. And then an R, as you can see where my finger is pointing to. This is the one that broke. Pretty simple install. First, we're going to slide the axle, and you want to look too because not only is it left and right orientation, there's a top and a bottom, so the lower control arm and the top control arm are not the same width, so you want to pay attention to that, the way it's going to go in. So the narrower part is going to be on top, whereas the wider part will be on the bottom. 
So pay attention to that as you're sliding it over the hub assembly. So you get that on first, put your top pin in. What you want to do is just slide your axle into the slots. It only goes in one way. There's a slot on either side and it's a wishbone style so it slides right in. It's super easy. So we'll pop the bottom in first. This is really easy guys, you can keep these parts on hand, and if you keep hand tools or a small driver in your backpack when you're out running, when you're bashing at the skate park, or in your woods, wherever, this is something that you can really do when it happens, out while you're running, the way the fun never ends. So that's it, it's back assembled, pretty simple, you just throw your wheel back on, This, um, basically like a nut driver, this is very inexpensive on Amazon, and it's pretty thin wall. Trying to use an actual socket to get inside these Proline wheels is very difficult, and they're really deep set in, so you kind of have to leave it in the tool to get it started. You want to just kind of feel it out ever so slightly because you don't want to cross thread it. These are aluminum. Threads are super duper soft. And if you strip them out, obviously you have to replace it. So this one's going on really nice. It's a nice snug fit, so cross threading it isn't easy to do, but it can definitely happen. I give it a nice little torque down because, you know, the max if you're running on 4S extremely torquey. Uh, well that's it. Super simple. These are the Proline Trencher belted tires. I really like these over the stock. You don't get the same ballooning so you get more surface area on the ground. Far more stable coupled with the Wide Max kit. Now this is just the version 1. Now, I know the version 2 is a little longer and I've heard that you can do an upgrade kit to extend the version 1 to that overall length of the version 2, which would make a huge difference on this vehicle. Um, well, that's it, guys. I got plenty more video from the skate park. I'll be getting uploaded soon and out for you guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Again, shoot me a like and smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great one, guys.